did yesterday yesterday <laughs> man say hey, guys it's what tuesday the 20th of december right by the way this video is gonna be all over the place it's gonna be all over the place guys but yeah it's tuesday the 20th of december right and man saying yesterday yesterday for me is just a blur because i was just so physically and mentally drained from the final right between france and argentina what a game that was, right? And after when that game and the two, right? Like, I was watching with my cousin. I turned around, I looked at him. I was like, bro, we just seen something, like, beautiful here and, and glorious, bro. It's absolutely nuts. And the thing is, as well, as well yeah, like, um, my sister don't know. She, she, was, she was watching it. Uh, her sister and um, her friend as well, they were watching it. And they were just quiet. They are, they are not football fans. One of them likes cheerleading, bro. They're the furthest thing from football fans, bro. And they were just sat down quiet. Like shocked to what they just seen, bro. <laughs> nah, fam. But guys, we're back again with another Twitter reactions video where I compile the best tweets from football fans all across the world, and I read them out to you because I do love the joke, guys. And people on Twitter, football fans are funny, bro. And again, like it's, it, it is gonna be the France and Argentina game. Like just those tweets, guys. Literally just those tweets. I will do like the funniest moments in the World Cup video later on. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But guys, we do have a little bit of a stutter. So bear in mind with bear in mind with me for that. Again, this video is gonna be everywhere. So let's go right into. So the first one, I come from Boston Football, and it says this moment what Messi the World Cup did is Burnley and appointed a little more pay. And I remember this game because I was watching it with my friends um, who support Arsenal, and, and it was again Brighton versus Arsenal, and more pay injured Burnley, and then Burnley had to come off. Emmy Martinez then took the chance right to become the number one goalkeeper for Arsenal, and now he's the number one goalkeeper for Argentina. He's the one that did the big save again. Against Randall Colombo-Warani in the like the last moments of extra time, bro. The, the thirty-first minute, bro. If Colombo-Warani would have scored that goal, France would have been world champions. But Emmy Martinez kept him in. Shout out to Emmy Martinez, bro. The guy's an absolute <laughs> legend, though. He doesn't kill me. Right. This next week from Zach Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know how many times right I tried to look for this picture like on Sunday night. Because for me, right, right, I was like, again, I, I remember this Martinez Lane or Morpe thing or oh, bro, like, like re regularly fam. When I see Martinez play fast in middle, bro, I was like, you know, if if Leno <laughs> wasn't injured, bro, you'd not be here, G. I <laughs> totally mean it, right? And again, it's like it's it's a guy <laughs> you've seen this, you've seen this meme before, right? It's a guy with like a small like little cube and it says no more pay injuring Berlin and then it says Argentina winning their first World Cup in 36 years. And I genuinely agree with it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's funny, bro. It's <laughs> Bro, right, and then then the tweet continues, right, from Zach Lowry, right, and it says, No more people was born and raised in France, then Argentine mother and holds French and Argentine citizenship. Surely one of the greatest, surely one of the greatest butterfly effect moments in the history of the game. 100% <laughs> like football is comedy, bro. Like I say this all the time, bro. Bro, football for me is comedy, fam. I always laugh at things like this because it's it's ridiculous, fam. Like such a small, like it's a small, a small, it's a small moment, right? Of Leno being injured, Martinez coming on, and then now Argentina are winning their like third ever World Cup, bro. <laughs> It's crazy, fam. Football is crazy and funny, fam. I, I, I love it, bro. Hence why this video is always being getting done. But anyway, this one <laughs> says Messi is so good that he can beat the Drake curse. <laughs> The first thing, right? I noticed about this image because um, I had a subscriber comment to me, like, uh, like, because he sports a thing in Napoli, and of course, Kavard Kale is there, right? And he's like, bro, I wish Napoli can win uh, the Serie, A, you know, so so we can win the league. And I see this, and I was, I was like, bro, like, Drake's wearing your top, fam. <laughs> he's wearing the tracky bottoms of the Napoli logo because I'm sure he wants them to lose the, <laughs> the league. Because Drake must know about the Drake curse, right? He must know about the Drake curse. Adesanya losing, bro. Conor McGregor losing, fam. Nate Diaz losing. So many guys, right, have lost to a Drake curse, bro. But Messi, again, is that guy, fam. You do not bet against Messi, bro, because Messi, bro, is... Is it... <laughs> Again, I sound like that kid that you, 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 I'm putting up for you guys. Like, you had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so. 
It's Messi, fam. It's Messi, bro. Drake really thought that he can curse Messi because he tried to do that reverse psychology because he wanted France to win. Because because again, like his guy Mbappe, you know, shout out to Kylian Mbappe, but he he actually wanted Kylian Mbappe to win. That's why he's doing the whole reverse psychology thing because yeah, bro, <laughs> the guy back like a million as well. This guy, G. <laughs> this one says Emi Martinez twerking. <laughs> I can't put the video for you guys because it's, it's copyright music, but yo, Martinez. <laughs> I swear, yeah. I swear, bro. Martinez is a joker, fam. Right, this one says <laughs> Martinez on the celebration. And I, I did it because the French booing me. Arrogance doesn't work with me. <laughs> when I seen him do that, right, in front of. Um, is it like. Is the guy in that the robe? Is it like a prince? Please comment down below who actually you know um, the the royal family in in Qatar or the sheiks. Please comment down below, bro. Is it what the royal family? Because when he did that, I was like, bro, like what are you doing, fam? <laughs> so I was like, what are you doing, bro? And we, <laughs> bro, I like with Martinez, right? I have a, like a love hate relationship with, with this guy because when he's playing against you, bro, he's an absolute bellend, bro. He's an absolute bellend. I ain't gonna lie about that, bro. But, but when he's playing for you, bro, he's, he's the type of guy that you want in your team. Psychology, bro, always up for it, fam. Like, Martinez, like, there's this point, especially when Bruno last season skied the, um, he, the, the penalty, right, a against him, just literally hit over the bar, and he missed, and then Martinez turned around to United fans, because I'm United support, of course, and he's like, <laughs> he's shaking it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this guy is so unbearable because you like you like SH how tea houses like this, bro, on your team, but when you play against them, they're an absolute nightmare, bro. And like and like when um United goes past Aston Villa, bro, I'm like, yeah, take that as well, you absolute you absolute freak, bro. Like me and my bro. <laughs> Martinez is one of those guys who who I'm more swaying left and right with. I was like, oh, he's funny. Next minute, oh, I don't like this guy, bro. But anyway, this one says the rest of the world. <laughs> rest of the world to Saudi Arabia, bro. How did you do it? <laughs> and <laughs> sometimes right, I get these thoughts in my head. I'm like. Bro, you know the only team that beat Argentina this this tournament side was Saudi Arabia. So that kind of technically makes Saudi Arabia the world champions. <laughs> oh, bro. I was like, I was like, so 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 what's that mean then? Is that like Saudi Arabia like world champions or something like that, bro? Like, and I remember this because. I remember watching the game. I remember doing the Twitter reaction video for the game as well. I was like, yeah, these guys, I'm going to make it anywhere, bro. They're screwed, fam. Like, I just wanted, right, Mexico or Poland to put the nail in the coffin, but, but they couldn't do anything, G. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, G. Varane's ass kept him on side. <laughs> leave Varane leave Var alone, bro. The guy, the guy went off injured. You know, and when I first seen that goal, right, to make it 3-2 uh, for, for um, Argentina, I was like, he's offside, isn't he? And then when I seen the replay, I was like, oh, he's on, he's on, bro. This this is going to be peak times, bro. But apparently this goal, right, should have been disallowed because there was two extra guys from the Argentina team, like the substitutes, like that actually um, stepped on uh, to the pitch before uh, Messi who had even scored the goal. So so that's like two, so that's basically 13 guys, right, on the field, which is not, which is actually not allowed, like in the rules of the books. But that's what I'm seeing online, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. That's what I'm seeing. So apparently this goal was meant to be disallowed. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Yeah. La Tara Martinez and Usman Dembele have really battled it out for the worst for the worst performance in a World Cup final ever today, bro. Yo, yeah, someone said he got in in, in 2014. We have something to say about it, bro. He got in in 2014, bro, was an absolute disgrace, bro. He was a nonsense fan. Like, <laughs> it's. <laughs> they, 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 uh, yeah. I, I, I'm putting Dembele. Latara Martinez, Giroud, and Higuain, bro. The first, the four worst performances I've seen in a World Cup, bro. Absolute, like when when I seen them, bro, I was like, Dembele needs to come off. Like I was like, he needs to come off, bro. Like he, I think this guy, right, still thinks he's in Borussia Dortmund. He still thinks he's what in 2017, bro. Like the how badly he paid, giving away the penalty as well. I don't think there was a penalty as well because I, I think it's a little bit soft in my opinion, but. He, <laughs> 
the venom from this game that game was re nah it was it was horrid fam he, he stopped the place up bro right this one's from ellis and it says uh after watching that tara martinez and lukaku at this one cup i've come to the conscious decision that antonio Conte is the best manager of all time i agree bro look man like it's not lukaku fam it's like kaka it's like Kaka fam, like how <laughs> I forgot who he was, right? Where he like basically missed an open that. When I seen the, the, the highlights, right, I was like, oh, I was like, how, dude? And these two guys both play for Inter Milan, bro. <laughs> and, and Conte somehow won, won the league with Inter Milan with these two guys as, as strikers. It's crazy, bro. And like Lautaro Martinez during this World Cup, yo, absolute stinker, fam. Absolute stinker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Uh, this one says Saudi Arabia watching the rest of the, the rest of the countries losing to Argentina. Walk up, pathetic. <laughs> true, true, absolutely true, bro. Uh, my car is arriving back at Brian with this. One. <laughs> these guys, I'm pretty sure that right, these guys, um, they they wear like fancy suits. They're from Congo. Um, not uh, the Demo Democratic Republic of Congo, like like Congo, like the actual like 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 just just Congo, you know. I, I, I think I, I think it's just Congo because there's there's two Congos, there's DRC and then there's just regular Congo. And these guys, right, they always wear like these flashy suits because I've seen um, an interview and it, it was an interview, it was like an advert done in I, I forgot what advert it was, but they're from Brazzaville. That's it, Brazzaville, like in Congo, <laughs> bro. Like McAllister, this. Listen, right? I was saying he was dead. I still kind of think that he's not at the level to be like a like a world class player to be at, at the Chelsea because the, the, like what I'm seeing now is a lot of Chelsea fans actually want like, Alexis McAllister. I was like, bro, like you guys should not be going after him. Like, if Brighton's a nice place. Well. I've been to Brighton. Brighton's. I've done a vlog on Brighton. Brighton is actually it's a beautiful place, guys. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got good players, bro. Like, oh, come on, bro. You can't say Brian is this this track, bro. I like Brian, but in the beat United as well. Bro. I just like Brian, fam. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna start to pick up the code. <laughs> like, like Tara Martinez told it walk up. <laughs> he is a bro. He's a warrior. Yeah, yeah. Walrus. <laughs> walrus, bro. There's nothing, there's nothing else about it, bro. The guy is a walrus, fam. Like Altar Martinez, bro. Like, yo. <laughs> Altar Martinez trying to remember why he's striking this. Uh, let, let me get his. <laughs> bro, the guy, I like my. What the bro? What? He's getting, he's getting cooked, bro. When I seen these tweets, right, like it, bro. My, my, I don't get it, bro. Like last season, like what two seasons, two seasons ago, killer, absolute bad man in front of the goal. But now, like, is is horrible. Like, how's he missing like chances, bro? Like, he's he's kind of playing football. Like, he's he's like a toddler. It's. <laughs> Matoro Martinez, man. This dude, bro. <laughs> Usman Dembele versus Argentina. <laughs> zero goals, zero assists, zero big chances created, zero key passes, zero accurate crosses, zero successful dribbles, zero fouls, one, zero tackles, one, zero, zero out of five duels, one. <laughs> it been dribbled past twice, lost possession seven times when one penalty uh, committed. Hall of Shame. Yeah, Hall of Shame performance. Like, what a hurt, bro. And when it came off as well, right around like the 40th minute, right, I started laughing. I was like, I turned to my cousin, like, bro, he's got hooked, fam. They hooked my damn bell and Giroud off in like the 40th minute. And again, right, my sister, though, she doesn't watch football. She doesn't watch football. And when she sees Drew coming off, she's like, it's substitution already this early. Like, how? I like, I'm pretty sure, like, they, they meant to come off in, like, the 65th minute. Like, how is the, how, how is it coming off as, as like, he's been terrible. And I'm like, they, they've both been horrible, bro. Like, <laughs> if a person knows not watch football, knows how bad it is that you're being, you're being replaced in the 40th minute with no injuries just because you're having a terrible performance, then it says what it is. This man, the villain, this... <laughs> Usman Dembele this World Cup in his Nicholas Pepe. 
listen, right? I, 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 I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think that Usman Dembele, I think that Nicholas Pepe would have done something more than Usman Dembele, but at least have a shot on target. At least, G. <laughs> Uh, this one says, nah, getting hooked 40 minutes to the final after that performance is legacy the finals, but the Bella, you are a bum. <laughs> Barcelona, bro, I'm here laughing at him, right? But we've got the, the Barcelona and the Bella, I think it's in January, the game for the Europa League playoffs, bro. He will show up against United, fam. It's gonna be so typical, but yeah, yeah, that was a bum performance in that final, bro. Like it's the it what it was like, again. It's, it's up there with the Higuain one from, from like what eight years ago. <laughs> France looks <laughs> France looks serious yesterday. Went to run plays style stylistically similar to Benzema. K, uh, came on for the scrub Giroud. Please never compare F1 to Gold Car. Exactly, bro. Exactly. This is something, right? And. I don't care if this right uh, grinds people the wrong way, blah, 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 right? Yes, of course, Giroud has the record goal scorer for uh, the French national team, right? But do not say that he's better than Benzema. And never, ever, 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 ever say that this guy is better than Zlatan Ibrahimovic, bro. If, you, if anybody's saying that Giroud is better than Zlatan Ibrahimovic, go to your psychiatrist. Put yourself, right, in a mental hospital because he is not better than Zlatan Ibrahimovic, bro. Ibrahimovic, bro, is a generational striker. He's a generational striker, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know why people don't, know because he scored people two goals to France. Like, they're going crazy now. Oh, better than Ibrahimovic. He's not better than Ibrahimovic, bro. He's a bum. He's a bum compared to Ibra, bro. If Ibra played in that French team, bro, complete domination. Com complete domination, bro. Don't, cause Giroud scores nice goals. Like, oh, did did not fam. He's not better than Ibra, bro. He put bury that, put it to bed, bro. Like, if Ibra played in in, in that in, in, in this French team, then if uh, Giroud played in that Swedish team, bro, the completely different stories, bro. The, the, don't say that it, it, it's better than Ibra, fam. Anyway, this next one is, uh, uh think Messi's performance uh, 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 across the whole uh, twenty was probably better, but I I I don't think I'm, I'm being hyperbolic when I. Say Mbappe from the age of from from the age of onward was the most dominant individual display of, of inevi inevitability I've ever seen in a sport, even especially in a game of that stature. Yo, mate, you, you again another run. <laughs> I have to go on another run. <laughs> and I said I said that this video will be everywhere, guys. But oh, Holland's better. Ha ha ha! Holland this, Holland that, fam. No, bro. This guy is like one of the next goals, bro. Like when his career is done, right? I think that he's gonna be up there with the R nine Ronaldo's, bro. He's gonna be up there with like the Zidane's, the Ronaldinho's, fam. Kylian Mbappe is a bad man, bro. That went uh, the last 10 minutes of the game. Whenever he was he, he had the ball, dangerous, dangerous, bro. And the um, I think it was what extra time was it the end, the end of uh, extra time or the end of the, the second half in the normal like game, like in, in normal regulations, right? Is what I, uh, the uh, Americans would call it. There was one moment, right? And, and, and it's, a, it's a clip right now where he went past like three guys, bro. I, 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 I forgot who his players were, bro. He was like by the corner, flat. Like, Wah, wah, wah. And he almost shot the ball, but he got tackled the last minute. And I was like, if that won him, bro, Kim Mbappe is sick, G. Kim Mbappe is sick, bro. People want to come and say, oh, oh uh, Holland's better. This is nah, G. Nah, fam. Holland can't do this, bro. He cannot He cannot do what Mbappe just did, bro. Can't be any. Gosh, he's so sick. He's so good, man. Man like Keely, fam. Nah, G generational talent. Generation of talent, bro. And again, it, it, it is gonna get like a, 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 a end of the World Cup. <laughs> when you look at the France team for 2026, <laughs> this still gonna be beats, bro. This still gonna be beats, fam. Right? This one said, <laughs> Mbappe really said, <laughs> lean forward. Yeah. It, it, especially like when they got the penalty and he scored the penalty past Martinez. Martinez again is that guy who is just so problematic on penalties, so good at penalties, and he he knows he just reads where the players will go with all all the time and like the confidence that he has and penalties and for Killian to put three past him, not one but three and two of them the same place, bro, where he shot it from. Sheesh, mate. Ridiculous, fam. Different. He was different. Like different class that game, G. But anyway, 
This one says Mbappe 2022 World Cup, Golden Boot, eight goals, most uh, since R9 in, in, in 2002, most goals in World Cup final history, Silver Bowl, hat trick in the final, uh, first uh, since 1966, Serge first, six highest scorer in, in World Cup history with 12 goals, and the man's only 23. So what? Um, 27 is going 2020, so 2026. 27 2030 is gonna be 31 so he's got what and then 20 yeah 2035 so he's what got three world cups to break uh Miroslav Klose's record which is four goals bro he's gonna break that record he's gonna break that record man like Kylian Mbappe is so good bro like at that age as well he's gonna break that record like he's he, it is bro <laughs> it is bro it is bro like it's, it's yeah he's it's, it's, it's just gonna break it <laughs> See? man like Donatello fam <laughs> I like that so I did this you know <laughs> And he's, he's doing that, but it's like a turtle retracting back into his shell. Because man's a teenage real teacher to a man that done the tunnel, fam. Man, like in the vapor bro. <laughs> Same energy. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't happy. He, my man got the golden boot, but he, he's like, listen, right, guys. I, especially, to, especially to his team, it's like, I did my bit. All you guys made me lose. I did my bit. I, I got the hat trick, fam. I got the golden boot. All you guys are losers, bro. I ain't a loser, G. But, ish. Nah, fam, what was class too? Mad fan, no. <laughs> Aguero is so shameless. <laughs> but I'll get it though, right? The thing is, like, people giving uh, John Terry, Ryan Brewster, and um, uh, Thingy Mendy, right? Like, uh, Stick. They were, they were actually in the team when they won the World Cup, bro. Like, yeah, oh, they didn't contribute, but they were actually still in the team. Aguero didn't have no minutes, bro. The guys coming out of the full kit with his name at the back, bro. Number 19. <laughs> oh, man, Aguero killed me, bro. He was out there dancing as well, bro. Aguero, he actually killed me because I was like, bro, like, he's so shameless, fam. The guy is so shameless, G. He's funny, bro. <laughs> oh, Jesus, bro. Oh. <laughs> Aguero, Aguero is generally so cringe. <laughs> uh, Argentina fans go mad when they over the one way, but managed to climb on the, on the roof carried by by Mace after all, all the crowd go after after all crowd go singing ole ole well fat fat. In, in Spanish, those World Cup celebrations, and yeah, fam. And it's just, and for me, like I, I live in England, bro. And we went England in 2018, right? There were um, the the Russian World Cup were all going crazy, bro. I was in the street, fam. Hey, you, you fam, you know the vibes, bro. You know the vibes, just going crazy, g, just going crazy. <laughs> street celebrations are, are the best, bro. Especially when like your your national team is getting far, and you just see like a lot of people out in town, out on the streets, just causing havoc and madness, bro. I'm all there for it, right? This one, right? It says there's always one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a dude. He's one of the guys. I think it's one of the coaches. Is it, is it Montiel? I think it's one of the coaches stuff uh, for 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 Argentina jumping into a bin. I love it, man. I love it. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Right, and this next one says we're going we're going from Argentina versus France to Bournemouth versus Chelsea. I feel sick. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That fixture, Chelsea versus Bournemouth, is always a tasty fixture. I, I, I know this because my friend Soleil supports Chelsea and he really hates Bournemouth. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because maybe they beat Chelsea. Maybe, maybe, maybe they always beat Chelsea, but I don't know why he hates Bournemouth so bad. And I'm guessing this guy's a Chelsea supporter. But guys, that's been the video, man. Like, wow. What, what, what if I know? If you stayed this so far. <laughs> So far, thank you so much for, for, for being here. It means a lot for me. Just listen to my rambling and just giggles because, again, football fans on Twitter are the funniest fans, as you can see throughout this as well. Shout out to Argentina, Messi, eh, eh, Martinez, Enzo Fernandez, um, Lissandra Martinez. Again, like absolute bad man's ballers. And shout out to the country of Argentina. Um, yeah, hey, your, your world champions of football. Con congratulations with that. After the loss of Saudi Arabia, I actually you thought you guys were, were going to make it far, but there you, there you go. So, so congratulations. But guys, I will leave you guys right with a, with a, a, with a nice touch of a Argentinian fans in, in, in Argentina.
his reaction and the people's reactions as well just him cycling through like a quiet street when um i think it's montiel that scored the final penalty for argentina so enjoy this video guys and i'm signing out keep it real or subscribe like the video guys yeah but now i'm signing out keep it real peace